Hello everybody, Corey here. In this video, we're going to um, go over the daily roundup for the Yield Max ETFs. Um, or most of them. Actually, technically, we'll be looking at all of them. We just may or may not have all the trading data. Uh, well, I don't have Ulti's trading data in here. But anyways, just a reminder, I'm not a qualified licensed investment or financial advisor. Uh, Yield Max ETFs are extremely risky, so please make sure you understand that before investing in these. And so what I want to show you first, since I did not do the daily roundup for yesterday, if you want to see it, uh, the data, here's this data here. If you want to pause the video and look over the trades from yesterday. Uh, net outstanding shares, none of this matters now. Uh, yeah. So that's actually all you need from yesterday's tab. Um, now, from today's tab, uh, I was I could have already done this video, but then I was like, "Ooh, I should do this and change this." So we're gonna look at the prices differences from the last couple of days instead of the original way on here. I did have it the original way, but I just changed it all. So, but we'll look at all the same thing. But I want to look at the prices from the last the drop the last couple of days um, on these. So, uh, yeah, here's all of our trades, right? Um, lots of trades because it is Thursday. NVIDIA had to pay out $40 million. Uh, Tesla brought in $9.5 million. Kony brought in a little over $6 million. Um, so lots of trades. Those are our big number of trades there. Uh, but let's move on. Here's all the net assets and the outstanding shares. So the shares outstanding here. Y'all want to pause and find the ETFs you want to look at here. And then also you can see the, in the same screenshot, you can see the current stock price and the NAV as of today and the difference there. What we have here, and it's basically because I wanted to see what, what these look like. I guess I did come out some the last few days instead of just one day because we've been dropping a couple of days. And so now I have all three days listed here. And then the difference, um, you know, from the 23rd to the 25th and, uh, you know, in dollar amount and in percentage amount. So similar to the way we usually have it, it's just that we have all three days here instead of just the two. And I could just obviously have the beginning and the end, but I wanted to look to see how these dropped. And that's because I was looking like here, AMDY has dropped 9%, you know, a dollar and a half. And it's not the only one. So Coney has dropped 9%, almost $2. And then Squee, uh, obviously Tesla's dropped, but it also had earnings. But Squee here has dropped over 8%, a dollar and a half. So, um, yeah, I found these, um, I found this data interesting. So, I don't know if, if anybody else cares to see this, but, uh, I just wanted to look at these, of course. Again, like always, just feel free to pause and look at the individual one that you want. But I guess just in case you are somebody that watches, which... Usually you wouldn't, uh, I mean, somebody's just listening. You wouldn't normally just listen to the daily roundup because you actually have to be able to see all these numbers because I don't read every single number and nobody would want me to. Uh, but um, we have Abney here down 5%, AIYY down 6 AMDY down 9 A AMZ down 3 Apley down 3 Coney's down 9 Dizzo down 2 Phoebe down six, GDXY down three, GUI down seven percent. JPMO is only down one percent. Murney is only it, actually it's down zero percent. It's down five cents. Um, MSFO is down five percent. Misty only down three percent. Uh, Nefli is only down one percent. NVIDIA is down 7, OARC 5, PayPay 4, Snowy 2. Um, and then, of course, Squee and Tesla 8. Now, Zomo is actually up. It is the only long, hold on, yes, the only long 
you know, ETF out of these that is actually up um, from over the last couple of days. Um, then, of course, we have our short ones, our crash dips in fiat. And dips just isn't coming through just yet um, because of it being brand new. Um, but crash is up 10% and fiat is up 9%. Um, so interesting. Of course, then we have at the bottom here, we have YBIT down 2%, YMAGS down 6, YMAX is down 4, and ULTI is down 6. And you know, it's just, it's, I don't know, it's interesting to me, but maybe it's just because we have brand new people and they don't understand how these funds work. But I've had so, seen so many people ask the same question over and over again. Why is YMAX down? Why is YMAX down so much? Well, if you look at up here at the top here, you know, YMAX holds the stocks at the top. Basically, everything above the pink ones, you know, it can hold. Of course, it can have YBIT down there too. Of course, a couple of these it may not hold yet because it hasn't paid out a distribution. So like Abney, that's not in there yet. Do we have another new one? Maybe not. I guess that was, I guess that's the only one that's not in it. So when, you know, 90, I don't even know what percentage that is, whatever percent of that, all of them but one is down, of course the, you know, YMAG or YMAX is going to be down. Uh, as far as YMAG goes, yeah, none of them are up. Um so, in, in fact, let's look at that. Uh, which all the ones? AMZ was down three. Apple was down three. Google's down seven. Microsoft down five. NVIDIA's down seven. Tesla was down eight. I don't even know if I got them all. I uh, didn't count. But, yeah, I mean, it's going to be down. It's just the fact of life, right? Um, of course, when everything starts going up, then these will go up too. So you just got to remember, that it's just the same thing of, it's not exactly the same thing, but it's similar to all the single stock ETFs. Well, the underlying goes down, then, you know, the ETF's going to go down. That's with anything, any ETF out there, if the underlying's going down, unless it's a short, right? Uh, when we expect that it's going to go down, we're betting on it's going to go down, right? And it's going to do the opposite, um, which is why we have crash, in case you're new, crash dips and fiat going up is because those are short ETFs um, expecting the market to go down. So I know I just harped on that, and some of you are like not even understanding why I mention it, but I've seen so many posts and questions in the Discord and on Reddit, and I've seen it on Facebook, and it's the same question. Why is YMAX down so big? Oh, I screwed up because I bought YMAX or, or you know, YMAG. You could use those interchangeably, but honestly, it's mainly just been people asking about YMAX, um, but... Anyway, all right, so I did the exact same thing with the underlying. Apparently, that IV didn't load down there. So here's all the IVs. Those yellow IVs don't mean anything except for the fact that I had to hard type those in because they didn't load until later. Um, but same thing. Um, Again, and then I actually had a difference. Usually, I don't have a difference column here for the dollar amounts for this, for these. But uh, I did it for this instance because I wanted to see how far some of these went down dollar-wise. Um, yeah, just look in here. Like, see, AMD went down 10%. I didn't realize. I mean, like, I see the numbers, 154, 138, but I didn't. You know, I'm not doing that mental math to realize that that was 10%. Um, hell, let's just start at the top. A, uh, Airbnb is down 6%. AI, C3AI is down 5%. AMD down 10 
Amazon down four, Apple down three, Coin down 10%, Disney down 2%, I guess only because it was going down, way down the days before, uh, because we were just up at 100, but anyway, so Meta, Meta's down 7%, GDX down three, uh, Alphabet's down eight. JPM is only down one, with Moderna only be down one. Um, Microsoft down six. MicroStrategies down seven. Netflix is down one. Nvidia down eight. Arc down five. PayPal down four. Snow down two. But if you look at Snow, even though it's down two, it went from one thirty two, one twenty five, and back up to one twenty nine today. So it wasn't, um, and I didn't look at that on some of these other ones. So no, those were about the same. Yeah, Moderna had went down yesterday, and it's come back up. And JPM was about the same. Um, but, all right. So Squee down 8%, or Block was it? Sorry, Block was down eight percent, and then Tesla is down eleven percent. Of course, it had earnings. Of course, also Alphabet had earnings as well. Uh, and then again, the only one that's green here is Zomo, and it was up four percent. So, uh, yeah, you can get again. Feel free to stop it, pause it, whatever. Look at each day where these went, if they kept going down, or if it stayed about the same, or if it went back up. Uh, you can see that data here. Then, what I would normally do is looking at the difference. So, I'm going to hide that. Okay. And so, again, these are going to be rounded percentages, but the blue is the difference between the two changes. So let me zoom out so we can get, make sure we get all these in the same screenshot. Okay, so as you can see, all of the yield max, well, there are four of the underlying that did better than the yield max ETFs. Um, and then of course I had these numbers at the bottom, but this was today. Today we had seven underlying do better and 16 of the yield max do better. Today we had, or over the three days, we had four of the underlying do better. Therefore, we had 19 of the yield max do better. So the yield max funds, majority of the time, do better, uh, you know, in the down market than the underlying. Um, and of course, you can look here. It's just a small percentage, like AI was better. Like, yeah, it has a 6 and a 5% because, again, rounded, but the difference is zero. So it's a very small amount. Same thing with JPM. Um, of course, Zomo was actually going up, so it did a percentage better. Uh, and apparently, Bido did a percentage better than YBIT. And then as far as the yield max ones, the one that did better, uh, Abney was better by a percent. AMD better, AMDY, uh, all these would be better than, by 1% with the exception of Tesla. But um, Coney was better by a percent, Phoebe, GUI, MSFO, they were all better by a percent. I missed this one, Misty. So Misty was actually better by 4%, MicroStrategy went down 7 and Misty went down 3 However... The reason for that one, I know for a fact, is because we started off, right, with MicroStrategy already above its max strike price. Um, so Misty was sort of maxed out at the high, and it's just come down a little bit up underneath the uh, strike price. So it didn't have far, you know, much time to come down because it's just coming underneath that strike. You can see it only has been down to 83 cents. But anyway, so then we have Netflix, NVIDIA, and OARC, um, you know, did better by 1%. And then we had Tesla by 2%. So anyway, I wanted to look at the last few days just to see what was going on there. Um, 
if I remember correctly, let me just double check. Mm. So we had, this was a couple of days ago. Look at our recovery numbers here. So we did have one that was 12 days, and I think that one just happened. And then yesterday, we shouldn't have had any. I just want to make sure. Yeah, there's none over 12. Okay. So, yeah, obviously, we haven't had any recover from their distribution in the last two days with everything tanking. But what I do want to show you is look at all of these that, well, I say that. That's actually a lie. The shorts did, right? So this one, of course, we'll see how that goes. But um, it has it had a distribution of eighty two cents, and it's come up a dollar eighty two. Uh, so it's up two hundred and twenty one percent of its distribution last distribution. But all of these, oh hold on, yeah, this is right. Let's see the twelve now. All of these that were recovered, look at them. You know, like this one recovered four days in. And Apple's actually been doing pretty good. Um, I don't know. Apple might not have been doing good, but Apple's been doing good. But we are now negative 185% of the last distribution. Um, and it recovered after four days. And this one, AMDY, recovered after two days. And now we're almost negative 400% of the last distribution. The last distribution was down 73 cents. I mean, the last distribution was 73 cents. Uh, and so now, not only are we down that, we're down an additional 282. Almost $3 down initial, additional on top of the distribution. Um, Marnie is still okay. Um, Misty, yeah, still totally recovered. Zomo, almost. Um, but yeah, this has recovered. I just don't know. This one's a little weird on, you know, doing those since they're different. Um, yeah, I don't know. So I don't even think I have them on the recovery tab. Well, I did start to put it on there, so I don't know. I guess I'll cover it. Why not, right? But, um, yeah, and look at this down here. Y mag. <laughs> they paid out 64 cents, and it's down an additional dollar 64 so negative 258 percent of the yield because we had i don't know, tesla went down earnings alphabet went down earnings and then was there another one of those no nvidia's nvidia's just tanking in general so i guess not all right so anyway, sorry, I'm looking at the ones at the bottom. I don't know if those are right on those max prices. Oh no, well it was for yesterday. I didn't think it was for today. Crash. Oh, you know why? Because it's just going for its highest number and not looking for the lowest. Which means I should change these formulas somehow. Because these are looking for the maximum strike price. This should be the minimum. I've never had to worry about that before to even think about it. Hi. Okay. Yeah, I think we have. I think the other one's a 220. Because there's two of them now. 
Um, but anyway, so if we go to the top, we see, I think, uh, the only one that was maxed out before was the uh, micro strategy one for the um, short call. Of course, a lot of these have been moved out to next week as well. So... Oh, just look at any of these wood. So, Zomo is within 3%. There's a lot, and then the rest of them that are 4% or higher. Look at that. AMDY is 20% below its highest strike price. I just hope that means it'll go up, right? All right. So I'm just going to go over this real quickly. If you don't know what all this means, it's fine. Just let me know at the bottom, and I'll make sure I explain it on the next video. It's just a lot to explain each time, and I know I've spent a lot of time on the other data. Um, and then these are our synthetic positions here. NVD now has two. It's split at the moment. Um, but yeah, now we're below most of these synthetic strike prices. Some that will expire in the next three weeks. Some that don't expire for another almost two months. But AMDY is 25% underneath its synthetic strike price. Man, that one's so sad. Uh, if I remember correctly earlier, we have PayPay earnings next week and squee earnings next week i'm not sure about the rest of these i could only tell based on their strike prices of their short calls being significantly higher than um ugh, okay they than the current price but anyway i'll let y'all go sorry for the missing the videos yesterday and then these super long videos today Anyway, hope you all have a great day tomorrow. It is Friday, so you can enjoy your weekend. Talk to you all later. Bye.